permitted clock points. Now, if you want your employees to only be able to clock in and out in a particular place, then you can set up this option. So if you only want them to be able to clock in and clock out using a particular device, you just click on add device and input the device ID. For the clock point, you just enter the name for that device. So the same thing for the IP address. If you want to check or know what your IP address is, just click this link. We'll show you your IP address. For the add Wi-Fi, click add Wi-Fi. So this is only detectable when you're using the desktop app. So um, if you don't have the desktop app, then you can just disregard this one. So the same thing from for all the clock point option here or field here. It's just to name the clock point. And add GPS, so it will show you a map here. Okay. And you can just select add this GPS zone, then select the clock point name. Then the, if they're outside the 500 meters radius, then they won't be able to clock in or clock out. So where to see all the other informations here? To make it easier, just go to the user login page. You will see here a grade area where it shows you the IP address, device ID, Wi-Fi, GPS, and all other informations regarding your company. So we just get all this information and input your, them in here. Then after you're done doing that, you will go to the company setting now and enable the clock points. So go to the bottom, as you can see here, clock points. Then you just select which one's most applicable. So if you select feature off, then your employees will be able to clock in and out everywhere they want can select on to all users that means all users has to be in the particular clock points that you have set for them to be able to clock in or clock out or just define per user so that um, you can just go to the user setting page edit their information and just allow or select the clock points options there for the edit lock this is just um, a lock on where you can edit, add, or delete time entries or PDOs. Let's say, for example, you have forgotten to clock in or clock out, and um, the feature is off, then that means you will still be able to request for your time record to be input on your time card. Now, if you select fixed date, so you just select the date, so let's say you don't want um, any hours or time records from December 31 to be edited out. So you just click that one out. When you click Save Changes, then all the time records, all the time cards that are older than December 31 won't be edited anymore. So you can add another entry, you can add another PDO or absence request. So it's permanently there. You can also select Dynamic. So if you only want to use days to lock those time entries, let's say for example, you only want one month. So if that time entry is one month old, then you won't be able to edit it out anymore. Now let's go to the notifications. For the notification, if you want to get notified for every action your employee does, let's say let's click and enable this option. You will see here if they clock in, you'll be notified by email, by SMS, by SMS and email. Clock out, the same thing, same options. Late in and out, same options again. For everything here, you just want to save options. However, let me remind you that if you use SMS, okay, if you use SMS, it will cost you 0 0.05 cents for every notification that is sent. So that is excluding to the $25 or whatever package you have purchased for your subscription. So this one is include, excluded on that one. Then if you have multiple emails that you're going to use to be notified, you just input the email 
then separate all those emails by semicolon then put it another email and once you're done this is good to go so when your employees does particular action here that you have selected then you will get notified so if you selected the phone number as well you just enter the phone number or phone number select the phone number select the country code then um, a verify code will be sent to that phone number you just input the verify code then it will be recorded here and once you're done click on save changes and once the action has been met then your emails that have placed here will receive notifications for every clock in or clock out of your employees now we have email verification we just click here to verify so as you can see we are, we are we are redirected to the email verification page just below the notification just add email and then verify that one once you click verify you will be able to receive a verification code through that email then just enter it here then once you have verified it then it means that your email account that you have associated in your company notifications will be able to receive now the notifications that you have set for the add-on credits so this is the one where you top up credits so that you can pay for the SMS notification. So you can just click buy credit here. You will see here the amounts. You can pay it via debit card or via PayPal. So it's up to you. If you're not going to use the SMS feature, then you can just leave this one out and disregard it. And lastly, we have the billings and payments. So once you click this one up, it will redirect you to the purchase page with your company account automatically signed in. And then you will see here, you can add a new credit card for it to be charged as well as invoice info. So when you click on inv edit invoice info, this will be the emails that will receive the invoice for all your payments that has been done you also see here all the other records so it's kind of small the brand of the credit card that you're using expiry month or year last four numbers the name then the invoice number you will see all those information here once you click the billings and payments under the setting page And that will be it for the setting page. Now let's move on to the other pages that you can see here.